Gout is a chronic crystal deposition disease that is the most common inflammatory arthritis. Prevalence of gout is rising. This is potentially due to trends such as increasing age, obesity, and lifestyle factors. In most patients, gout is caused by inefficient renal excretion of uric acid. Decreased excretion of uric acid leads to hyperuricemia, or elevated uric acid levels in the blood, causing urate crystal deposition in the joints, organs, and other connective tissues. Gout, gout and hyperuricemia are independent risk factors for hypertension, CVD, CKD, and diabetes, and have been linked to obesity and osteoarthritis. In humans, uric acid is the natural end product of purine metabolism. The production of uric acid comes from two sources, the degradation of purines during normal cellular metabolism and the breakdown of dietary purines in the gastrointestinal tract. Most uric acid produced by the body is eliminated by the kidneys and the remainder is eliminated by the gastrointestinal tract. Within the kidney, the glomerulus filters the blood. The resulting filtrate passes through the proximal tubule where over 90% of uric acid is reabsorbed back into the blood. Multiple transporters, including URAT1 and OAT4 in the renal tubule system, are involved in uric acid reabsorption. URAT1 is one of the major transporters in the renal proximal tubules and reabsorbs most of the filtered uric acid from the lumen, thus maintaining overall uric acid homeostasis. In humans, uric acid levels are regulated by a balance between uric acid production and elimination. In most patients with gout, hyperuricemia results from inefficient renal excretion that may be due to alterations in transporter function. Alterations in transporter function results in higher serum uric acid levels in gout patients. When, when uric acid levels rise above the serum solubility limit, monosodium urate crystallizes out of the serum and deposits in joints and soft tissues. These crystals, or microtophi, may not be readily visible without special imaging. These crystals can continue to build up for years. Eventually and without warning, an immunogenic event occurs, triggering a powerful inflammatory response. The patient experiences an acute flare of gout. Acute gout flares can be caused by many factors, including joint trauma, dehydration, and fluctuations in serum uric acid levels. Acute gout flares can last several days and usually resolve spontaneously. Without urate-lowering therapy, Continued deposition of monosodium urate crystals may lead to visible tophus formation. Crystals in and around bony surfaces can perpetuate the inflammatory response and cause permanent bone and joint damage. Management of acute gout includes drugs to suppress inflammation, reduce pain, and hasten recovery time. Following an acute attack, the likelihood of recurrence is high, up to 60% in the first year. Patients that experience frequent recurring flares may require urate-lowering therapy to protect against recurrent episodes and prevent the development of TOFI, which can lead to chronic destructive arthritis. Gout is usually treated through a combination of pharmacological or non-pharmacological means, including caloric restriction, reduced alcohol consumption, and dietary modifications. Long-term pharmacological management of progressive or recurrent gout aims to reduce serum uric acid levels to less than 6 mg per deciliter, or in some cases to less than 5 mg per deciliter. Unless serum uric acid levels are lowered below the saturation point of monosodium urate, crystal deposition may continue. Maintaining low serum uric acid levels prevents crystal formation and deposition and promotes crystal dissolution.